I failed at being you, but I'm winning at being me. I'm winning at being free. Ain't no competition but me. See, I realize that I'm free, and I realize that I'm me. And I found out that I'm not alone, and there's plenty of people like me. That said it. What's good? I'm Jack, and I'm back with another bootleg figure review. But this time, you get two for the price of one. I have bootleg Itachi and bootleg Sasuke. Now, as I've said, I've had these for like at least a couple of months now. And I haven't I opened them when I first got them, but I haven't opened them since. But now I'm finally able to do my reviews. So, I was at first I was thinking about just doing them one by one. But, I figure I might as well do them both. So... <clears throat> with that being said, I'm gonna start off with Itachi because he came first and he was born first. So, yeah. And I want to say that at first I actually liked Itachi as a character. No, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. Alright, as you can see, the box it's in a nice shape, it doesn't have any of the official. SH figure or stuff on the bottom of it. But, I mean, it is a nice box. Alright, as you can see. I mean, you can tell it's, it's fake. It's it's faded. It's, it's bare. It's really bare. Alright. I mean, it doesn't really matter about the box. Once I do my reviews, I throw them in a Ziploc bag and I... I can't never play with these guys again. But that's neither here nor there. So let's get started. Alright. Now. Crap. I forgot. As you can see, Itachi comes with a lot of accessories. But right off the bat, you can tell that the hand is falling off and the arms aren't fully connected. But I did that, and I'll explain once I take them out. But let's get them open. Yeah. Let's start off by showing off all of his accessories. He has, you know, this hand that comes attached to the cloak that fell off. He has a this yelling as you can see, yelling Mangekyo Sharingan face. You know, the face he made when he smiled at Sasuke before he died. I think that's it. It's been a while since I read that those chapters, seen that episode. I mean, honestly, I really like Naruto, but it's not one of my favorite animes. And here is, you know, the bloodshot Matarasu face. I don't know if it's coming up not too clear. We get his jutsu hands. I heard in the official version you can connect them together, but I can't with these because, you know, they're bootlegs. As for his ring finger, I mean ring hand. A hand where he's just pointing a finger because he's able to cast genjutsu with just one finger. I guess you can call these like style pose hands. Or reaching out or clawing hands or whatever. And here's another. And we got his ponytail. That I'm going to attach as soon as I take him out. Finally we have both arms. He's wearing one of his other accessories. His cloak. And as you can see, I stuffed him in there with this thing on because, <sighs> see, here's the thing. These arms were attached to this, all right? They were attached, but it was so hard for me to get these arms on. Once I did get them on, I didn't want to take them back off, especially for the review because I didn't want to struggle to put them on during the review, so I just left them on. And so, yeah. Let's show off some of his articulation. Alright. 
like I said, his arms are really stiff and hard to move, but they can raise up. Yeah, that just happened. But, yeah. They have a butterfly joint. Like, it comes all the way out. And both arms are like that, actually. You know. Ponytail just fell off. I'll just have to super glue these together. Like, I'm gonna have to do with my saber because in the last review, I mean, she completely went to pieces. But yeah, he's kind of stiff. Like, you can see a lot of gapping. Like, you can see right up in there. And another thing, this plastic doesn't match this plastic. These don't match at all. Moving on. I mean, I'm just gonna leave that there, leave that there. And yeah, I mean, you get. Uh, why do I even bother? Well, as you can see, you get a lot of, you know, movement. You get the. This thing is tight. I mean, really tight. Uh, let's see on this one. This one, this leg has thigh swivel. But this one doesn't. This is so funny. It's always fun doing bootleg reviews. Alright, let me... Alright, he has double jointed knees. You know. Ankle pivot. <gasps> rotation weird toe hinge yeah that's mainly it for Sasuke I mean excuse me Itachi uh, but let me just piece them back together once I get him back together I'm gonna go ahead and start on Sasuke well at least he can stand on his own now that we have him all put together Let's just push him to the side. Now moving on to Sasuke Uchiha. And I gotta say, if you can't, if you can like actually see the box right now, you, then you can probably guess what happened when I first opened him. The same thing that happened with Saber, but unlike with Saber, let me stand him up. Let me stand that box up. Yeah. You see, when I first got him, I opened him up, and then I started, you know, fiddling around, and his arm completely broke on the inside. Do you see that? I mean, completely snapped. So I'm just like, uh, so so sad. Mm 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 mm. Sasuke is sad and depressed. Uh, uh, but, you know, Sasuke... I'll say one thing. I don't like Sasuke, but I like his power set. Like, I like his moves. I like his jutsus. I don't like him as a character, but I like his power set. So, that's that. And, I mean, him having one arm, is kind of, it represents him as he is now in the Boruto anime. He only has one arm. What's up, bro? What's up, bruh, bruh, bruh? And this arm keeps falling off. Yeah. I, 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 I. <laughs> this is making me hate Sasuke even more. But yeah. This can't really move much but this is like soft so yeah you can whoa you can get his knees up weird ankle I mean toe hinge both feet I maybe have messed it up but yeah it's loose too. It's loose. Now 
he's come apart. He's back together. And here's his other arm. I have no way to put this back on. I mean, I suppose I could like super glue it in, but no. Nah. And this is the sleeve that was in there. But I'm not sure how this goes in. So I'm just gonna leave that, leave that as it is for now, and just stand him over here next to his brother. Oh, get this out of the way. Yeah. They both. Look at this. Some sorry ass brothers. Stand him up. Just lean him up against the back wall. Stand up and lean him up against the back wall too. I'm just gonna leave him like that. He comes with his sword, sword in the sheath. You can't see that. Yeah. The sheath for his sword, just the sheath, but you can't really slide it in. And I actually tried to, you know, slide it in like they do. And it actually fits. It actually fits. So, yeah, that's cool. <sighs> we get his Chidori. Or Lightning Blade Jutsu. Which is my favorite Jutsu, actually. But he can't... It falls apart. <clears throat> I can't get it on his hand. I mean, I could try, but I'm not sure if it'll go. Extra faces, you know, just a normal, no Sharingan face. A Sharingan face, but you can't really. It's not the Mangekyo Sharingan. It's actually badly. You can't tell, but it's actually, it's not painted well. It's a bad paint job. Here we got Jutsu hands. Oh. These are actually different. This is weird. Oh, sorry. Busting up the camera. Like, these are the ones that you can actually... Nope. I was wrong. And that's your fist hand. Actually, this is the hand to hold his sword. And it goes on his arm. And it can, well, it goes on his right hand. But because of the plastic, it won't, you know, go all the way. Well, oh, oh yeah, I got it through. I got it through. Yeah. I like that. Hands to go inside the Chidori. Grasping palm hands. You know. Style pose hands. Well, this is everything that comes with these guys. And I must say, I'm kind of disappointed. I thought I'd at least get a decent bootleg this time, but nope. This arm has become increasingly loose. There we go. I actually feel like this arm may be broken on the inside of the socket. So, yeah. That's Sasuke and Itachi. You know, Itachi is the better of the two bootlegs. Itachi is the better one, actually. Yeah, he's the better one. But, but I'm going to get into some quick size comparisons. And I want to compare them to my official... Rock Lee and Boruto. And as you can see, they go well together. And, you know, FYI, I don't just buy bootleg Naruto figures. I'll buy the characters I like. I mean, I like... Naruto isn't one of my favorite characters, but I like Boruto as a character more than Naruto. And hopefully once the anime gets past 
the tuning exam, I actually started watching it because I don't want to sit through, you know, the movie story all over again. And I don't really like the art style of the manga, so I haven't been reading it. But I actually like Boruto as a character. And this is what I figured out when I, you know, got this guy. Is that I can swap out... I can swap out his hands on Boruto. You see? So now, I can give Boruto the Chidori. There. Boruto can use the Chidori. And hopefully he actually learns the Chidori because Sasuke is his teacher. So I'm going to use his, his parts on him. His parts on him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what I was saying about this cape, I don't like this because it's rubber. So, I'm going to throw it out. Since we're, you know, talking about Naruto characters and stuff right now, I got this off of eBay. And I got it for my Rock Lee because Rock Lee is my second favorite character next to Neji. We don't have an SH figure on Neji, but if they did have one, I would buy it in a heartbeat. So yeah, there we go. I got it on, and now as you can see, I have Hokage Rock Lee. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Bam. So, these didn't came in handy. I'm actually going to buy, you know, I'm going to buy a you know, cloth version of this, you know, for my Itachi. So, I'm going to get rid of this. But, yeah. This is how I'm thinking I should do other reviews as well. I, sh I should probably compare the those two to other figures, too. So, let me move these guys out of the way. Here they are next to a Black Series Stormtrooper Executioner. And a, you know, solo movie, Lando Calrissian. Here they are next to a Marvel Legends Killmonger. And a Marvel Legends Ant-Man and a Wasp movie, Wasp. So, yeah, there you go. Yeah, so all in all, they're okay. I'm gonna keep. Well, I'm gonna keep them anyway because you know I paid for them. But yeah, I say they're you know they're decent bootlegs. I mean, I don't really like Sasuke. I thought about getting the official version of him, but I don't want to spend that money. I can just use his extra parts for Boruto because he is Boruto's master. So yeah, and. I'm going to keep Itachi. I'm just going to get a cloth version of his cloak, you know, just to put around him. Actually, I may get a cloth cloak for both of them, for the both of them, and just have, you know, one arm young Sasuke. But yeah, but that's it for this bootleg review. All right. I want to thank everybody for watching this video all the way through. I really appreciate it. Thank you to all my recent subscribers. I want to apologize if you hear snoring in the background. But, but, you know, I'm recording while people are sleeping. Because this is the only time I can record in peace. Even though somebody's sawing logs. But yeah. Alright, this has been my review of Bootleg Sasuke and Itachi Uchiha. And with that being said, it's been real. They used to talk when I wander around.